Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain what is application security group and then show the deployment of application security group in the lab. First, let's start with whiteboard session where I'll visually explain what is application security group. Let's assume a scenario where we have Azure subscription. This is the Azure subscription we have. And in this subscription, we have a single virtual network. So this is the VNet. Now in this VNet, we have two subnets. One is application subnet, where the application servers align, and another one is database subnet. So this one is application subnet and DB subnet. In the application subnet, we have six virtual machines. So A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. And we have two databases, D1 and D2. And in this environment, we are attaching the NSG at the subnet level. However, NSG can be attached at the network interface level too. But mostly organization, because they want to manage all the rules using the Azure firewall centrally, so they apply the NSG at the subnet level. So there will be one NSG, NSG for DB and there NSG for app. Now for the rules in the NSG, we have to define the source and destination IP address and source and destination port. So if this is a SQL database, so the port number will be 1433. Let's assume that these are web servers. So the application port will be 80 or 443. Now we can easily create an NSG where we'll define the IP address of A1. There will be specific IP address and then define the IP address of D1, which will be destination. This will be source. Then database will be destination. So we have to define the destination ports is 1433. So in the rule of the NSGDB, we will define that IP address of source A1 and the IP address of D1. And then the port will be 1433 because this will be the incoming port. Now if these three servers A1, A2 and A3 are behind a load balancer. The other three are part of VMSS, virtual machine scale set. So that means all these three servers will be connecting to D1 and the other three will be connecting to D2. And we will define the rule accordingly. Now in NSG, we have to define the IP address A1, A2, A3. And if in case we are adding more servers, then every time we have to remember the IP address or we have to check the IP address and add it there. Similar way, in the case of virtual machine scale set, if there is a scaling happening and more servers are being added, then every time we have to go and update the NSG with that IP address. Otherwise, D2 connectivity will fail. To overcome this situation, Microsoft has a service called as Application Security Group, ASG. So it's more like a folder where the virtual machine network interface cards can be added which means application security group will have the multiple servers in it. And the benefit of using the application security group is if we are creating application security group one and add all the three servers in it and ASG two and add these three servers into it, then we are in the NSG DB. We have to just define that from ASG one, the traffic should be allowed on port one, four, three, three. So that means in future, if we add more servers to this ASG, then they will be automatically allowed. And in the case of the virtual machine scale set, we can define the configuration that whenever a new server is created, it will become part of the ASG. Then it will be automatically allowed in the NSG. So this is the benefit of using the ASG. It's more like a container or folder and we are allowing the whole folder itself instead of allowing an individual servers. 
So let me quickly show you the NSG. Let's go to NSG. Create. Test ASG. Let's name the resource group. Test NSG and review and create and create. This should be quickly created because it's an empty NSG for now. Let's create it. Let's refresh it and go to resource. And these are the default inbound security ports. So in the NSG, virtual network to virtual network connection is always allowed. And same to the load balancer, it's always allowed. And rest everything is denied. So now if you'll add an inbound security rule and in the source, any will be for the internet, but there is an option of application security group. If we have a specific application security group, we can allow it and then we can define if it's an SQL, we can use MS SQL, which will be 1433 port. And if the destination is a specific IP address, we have to define it. Otherwise application security group. If your database is also a part of application security group, then you can define it here. This is how you can use the application security group in the NSG and make your life easy. Now I'll create the ASG and show the proper use of it. So I have deployed a small infrastructure now, which I've showed you in the whiteboard. So I've created three virtual machines. Let's go to virtual machines. So these are the three virtual machines I've created. Two are application server test VM 001, 002 and one database VM. And if you'll go to the application VM, there is an NSG. If you'll go to the virtual network, there is an NSG attached, but this NSG is applied at the subnet level, which is app subnet. Same with the database VM. So if you'll go to the database VM and go to the network interface card, there is another NSG, DB NSG, and it's attached to the DB subnet. I haven't added any special rules. These are all the default rules which are created by itself. So now let's go to database subnet NSG, which is DB NSG and the inbound rules. Let's add a rule. So now we want these two servers to connect to database server on port 1433. If we'll do the source as any, which means anyone can connect from the internet to. We don't want that. We can provide their IP address. In this case, we have only two servers in the subnet. So we can provide the CIDR of the subnet. But in the real time scenario, there will be multiple servers and we, we just want the specific servers to be allowed. We can provide the IP address here. But instead of that, let's provide the application security group. But for now, we don't have any application security group. So let's create an application security group first. Create. I'll use the same resource group test ASG because it will be easy for me to reclaim all these resources. App ASG, we can name it whatever you want and review and create and create. And ASG is created now. So now if we'll go in the settings, you can see the properties here. However, you cannot add anything to the ASG from here. So you have to go to the virtual machine and then add the virtual machine into the ASG. So let's go to virtual machine. Test VM 001. When you'll go to the networking, there is an option of application security group. Add the application security group. This will add the network interface card to the application security group. So it's updating the network interface. Same thing we have to do with test VM 002 also. It's added now. 
application security group and for this nick card nothing is added let's add the application security group same application security group which we have created app asg and now application security group is updated now this application security group has two servers attached to it so let's go to nsg again let's go to database nsg inbound security rule and let's add a new rule so let's select the application security group we'll select the application asg so we are not worried about the source port what we have to do is destination so destination will be the ip address of the server so let's open another tab go to the virtual machines and dbvm let's copy the ip address it's the private ip copy this IP address provide it here if this database server would be part of ASG you can select the ASG also here but because this is a single database server we don't need to add this to ASG we can just provide the IP address and then we want MS SQL so port 1433 will be allowed and it will be allowed or deny you can select the action from here and just add it and this will allow port 1433 from this specific ASG. Now if we'll go to another NSG, which is application NSG, and go to the inbound security rule. Let's add another rule. Let's add a first rule here. And in this case, the traffic from the internet should be allowed. So the source will be any, and the destination will be the ASG which is these two servers and they should be allowed on HTTPS and if you want to provide both then you can do the custom and provide 443 and 80 so that means anyone from the internet can connect to these application servers on port 443 and 80 and let's add the name HTTPS allow and add so now the traffic from the internet will be allowed on these application servers and the best part is because we are using the ASG if we are going to create another server we can just add it to the similar ASG and we don't need to update the NSG now and I have already explained in the whiteboard that once you are creating the multiple servers or if they are part of the virtual machine scale set which is very important because in virtual machine scale set the virtual machines gets added and removed based on the scaling rules and in that case if the ASG is getting updated then we don't need to worry about NSG in the lab we rarely use ASG but in the real time scenarios most of the organization use ASG because it provides the better management and ease to use along with the security so that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.